Hello and welcome to this overview of the challenges today for asset liability management and 10 key drivers. So first is just a review. ALM is the process for managing financial performance by identifying, measuring, and managing the returns on risk for off and on balance sheet exposures. Ensuring a robust ALCO process. The ALCO process must include analysis of balance sheet exposures in an economic value framework. This must include off-balance sheet risks such as derivatives and backstops, as well as strategic issues such as the mix of assets, sources of funding, reliance on professional funding, and economic return on capital. The planning process is extremely important and should include income analysis, that is the mix of fees and net interest income and spread forecasts, product mix, so volumes and types of products, for example the mix of fixed and floating mortgages and ensuring product marketing is in sync with balance sheet goals. Funds transfer pricing, a clear and transparent system so that all business lines can buy into the process. Expense planning, so remuneration and what incentives are in place to generate certain types of business. Segment profitability, so analysis of the income producing activities of the individual business lines. And finally, capital planning, what is needed to support the business lines from a regulatory and economic perspective. Liquidity. The days of central banks supplying unlimited amounts like the Fed's quantitative easing or the ECB's LTRO, known as the long-term purchase operation, will not last forever. Liquidity buffers for unexpected seasonal variations must be integrated into the process. Stress scenarios that are increasingly demanded by regulators. Contingency planning for liquidity shortfalls. And finally, the LCR, or the liquidity coverage ratio, which is a new ratio being introduced by Basel III, should be integrated into the analysis, even though the final rules have not been completely settled yet. Gap analysis should integrate this new liquidity rule, again, even though the final weightings have not been completely finalized by the PIS. Market risks must include a range of market factors that impact not just net interest income and II, but also foreign exchange and other risks such as credit, equity, and commodities where appropriate. 